Welcome to my video to show you how to use your Hixing customer interface unit. Now this customer interface unit I have here is to connect to a three-phase Hixing HXE34 electrical meter and that runs out in the meter box outside whereas this unit is plugged in via a plug socket and uses the electrical wiring to communicate back to the meter itself. So now I've switched on the unit, you will see a screen comes up that says welcome and then presents you with messages and auto scroll. So you need to choose two for auto scroll. That will show you the consumption the meter has used since installation and that it will now rotate through a whole lot of different options which are actually also displayed out on the meter outside as well at this time. Those are not so important to read. If you look at the bottom here though, these options are available depending whether you use prepaid or postpaid for your electricity. Now as ours is postpaid, the options for um, emergency credit and that don't actually count. Now once you've pressed the number two, these codes are now available to use. So like they said there, total consumption is 800 and then you push the enter button. Now it will connect with the meter outside and present you with the total consumption since installation, which we've already seen. And you'll see it has gone up because we are using electricity at the moment. Now, 813 is an option given on there as well. That will tell you your consumption for the previous day. So our previous day's consumption there is 64.28 kilowatt hour, which is actually rather high because we normally use about 45, but it was quite a busy day yesterday here. So that's also very useful. It does tell you that option on the screen here, on the cover here, I mean. Now there's one that they don't tell you, and that's 808 for your current load on the grid. So what you're using right now. So we have a, a load of 8.15 kilowatts on the grid right now, over those three phases. It can go up even to about 13, I've seen at some points. Not really beyond there on, in this house, but because we have three phase 60 amp, we could easily go up to about 36 kilowatts on the grid at one point, which is quite a load. So eight is not that much, you know, it's a, it's a water heater, the dishwasher, those sorts of things are on right now. Then there are three other options which are quite useful if, you, if you're interested. And those are the codes 870, 871, and 872. Now what they do is they actually tell you the voltage at the meter per phase. So if I type 870, that will give us the voltage on the red phase. We use red, white, and blue phases here. So the red phase is currently at 236.6 volts, which is very good. Our transformer is set for 240, so that is expected to be there. 871 is then the white phase, which is phase two, and that's sitting at 241.3, which is very good. And then 872 will give us the third phase, which is our blue phase, and that is sitting currently at, oh, a bit of a delay in communications here. Sometimes it does happen that it will fail to communicate, and then it will say comms error. Otherwise, like here, you can see there's a load of 235.9, a, a voltage, sorry, a voltage of 235.9 uh, for the blue phase at the moment. So I thought those are quite useful for you to see. They're probably for the more um, technically or geeky minded like me who like to see these sorts of things. Uh, if I find any other codes for these that we don't know about, then I will post a follow-up video or a replacement video to this one. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and then you will be notified as soon as I do put one for you. If you enjoyed this, uh, I would appreciate also a thumbs up. It helps the YouTube rankings and the Google search rankings for anyone else looking to find instructions for their hexing meters. Thank you. Appreciate that. Cheers.